Hey guys, Daniel here. Today I want to show you the 100 hours maintenance into Yamaha's Outboards 150s. And uh, I'm close to 400 hours on this engine. It's like 382. So uh, my computer just showed me that it's time to maintenance so i will check the change the spark plugs i will change the oil filters um, oil water separators i will change uh, fuel filters uh, and um, lower unit gear loop so i have here some parts I bought it here at Key West in Yamaha. So we got oil. He recommends me 20W40, which is better for uh, for uh, hot weather, which is here. Here is a gear case loop that's for a lower unit for one engine. This one is for second engine. I have everything like twice. This is a fuel filter and um, I decided to buy these two uh, these three gallons of oil because uh, I need like five quads which is one big gallon and one small quad uh, but it's it's like I need 10 and I've got 14 12 sorry so I'll keep I will keep the, the two quads just for a case in a boat somewhere I have a new eight spark plugs here and filters all filters this is separators this And I will start work. You can see the beautiful landing here at Key West Airport. Okay, back to work. So we start with the oil. So I release this one cup. I'm good. You can do it. So the the old drain plug is here. It's 916, which is a little bit weird. Okay, I got it. Nice. You can see guys I don't believe it that they changed the oil before mm -hmm. it looks like a oil from a company wow it's really like this is what I don't understand like if you have a boat expensive boat why you are so poor to change the oil and spend some money you know this is not quite right this is not what the what the boat deserves So we have oil out from a boat. Now it's time from a 
oil filter. Yeah, 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 no. So, as you can see, guys, if you don't have enough power, you need more power. So now, you can release it from here. Because, I bet you guys that the filter is original because at least the oil looks like it's the first one and stick a rock around like it's here and put the filter in the rack, okay? This castle. You see the, the color of the oil? I'm not sure, but... Looks to me like the oil is original. So here is our new filter. What I'm always doing, it's like... How many hours? And the date, what I'm doing. Now we have to lube it. From the new side. Uh, let's put it back here. So we have a new filter here. If you're doing by yourself, just be careful. Don't be like me. Just hit with my finger this metal sharpie thing. So we have the oil filter in a housing. See, it's the one. I fixed my finger. I found this uh, fancy band in a, in a Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. You can see it's, it's a Superman. They have different motifs on it, like 10 different ones. I like the one with the logo of Superman, but I grabbed this one first, so. Okay, it's not about this. <laughs> so. This is an oil drain plug, put it back in its place. Uh, maybe the paper towel. Have a small leak around. We will clean it up everything later. So, it's okay. I think so. so. Now we will pour the oil from there. So it's a 5.5 quarts of the oil here for a Yamaha 150. The mosquitoes are crazy today. They were crazy yesterday and they will probably be crazy tomorrow. What I said in a video before, we're doing 20W40. That's what the guy from Yamaha recommends me because uh, I was asking what's the difference between uh, 1030 or 2040 and he says 2040 is better for uh, for uh, the Florida weather for the hot weather so we will follow his words and
now we have first four in so I bought three gallons of this oil because exactly I will need uh, two gallons and three quarters so it was cheaper to get three gallons than uh, than have something like uh, in a quad so now we measure so we have a one and a half quarters right now so that's what I will put here and and this is it for this engine I mean like we're talking about the oil change and I will take out the the thing to measure if we are in an oil level and we can keep this for the other side so now I'll take funnel out funnel funnel I don't know how to say it, but it's this thing. I just put the cover back, and I will ask Vincent. I just put it with my hand. It's enough. I use my healthy hand. And let's go around. And here. It is so take this thing out, clean it up, put it back all the way in, wait a couple seconds, take it out and I think we're good. Yep. So the next step is uh, spark plugs. So they are here behind the plastic thing. So you see one, two, three, four. So one, I'll be do one by one. So. Hold it, please. Right. They are like really, really deep inside the motor. <laughs> no, that's fun. At least we have everything super oily from our oil change. Wrench keys and everything. So, this is it. If you compare the new one, this is a new one, yeah. this is the old one. I mean like it's still good, it's not like super blacky or something like that, but you know, I think it's time to change. You good. So our next step is fuel water separator. It's here. Looks ugly too. So 
I will try to use this wrench. Hope it's big enough to release it and replace. Guys, here is no space on this board, especially in a, in a gas this is the first thing and second thing is I'm not sure if you have to put the actually So this is a this is a gas from a from a from a water separator, which is good. We don't see any water here, no water at all, which is great. It's great. What we will do now? It's like uh, pour the gas in a. And a new water fuel separator. I'm using low ethanol gas REC 90 someone calls them like a boat gas so we will put it back on its place soon so we have a water separator in so the next step is fuel filter this is a new one And here is the old one, so I will try to release it. There is a there is a wire which is good to have it unplugged it. Uh, super hard for me with my one finger. You can first uh, quick. So this is it. I'm just trying to have it. It's a blue one. It's going on a fuel filter from the bottom. And it's good to have it unplugged because when you spinning or twi twisting with this, it doesn't like make a loops on a on a wire. So If you using the channel locks, never do any pressure on it. If you need, just make other way how to release it, but can you give me the glass? So here is the old filter. I'll try to get it out. So 
and this one is old rubber up, okay? Looks good. Not bad. Something there, but not much. This one looks good too. See, it's clear. Right? So take a new one. Touch put it in. Yeah, 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 probably new one. This will put the new gas in. You can do it here. Just a little bit. Good, good. situation You can see the virus makes me hard times. Okay, I will use the channel logs again. See no pressure. Thank you. All right. So now we have a fuel filter in. It's brand new. So you can see it's like floating. And now we will connect the blue connectors back together. It's okay. I'll just try a couple more spins. That's great. So, we have the water separator number two here. This one. So, here's the button click. Now it's time for this guy.
All right, so yeah. Hey guys, Daniel here. Today we have a other like a tech day. I need to replace the seals at this engine. As you can see, they are leaking here. See? So this is a number one thing. Second one is change the impellers for a cooling system. They are here, so I have to get the lower unit. And the third step will be change the lower unit fluid, the liquid there. So we have a funny thing to do. So let's start. I will take the lower unit first on this engine. To get the liquid out from a lower unit you need to release those two screws one is here one is there i will do the lower one first because there is like vacuum there so i can release this one and when i start to release this one out the liquid starts come out from a lower unit But we need to change this seal and clean this screw. So the lower unit is empty now and I will take it out from a from an engine so we can change the parts for a water cooling system and uh, Next step will be this one. As you can see, I'm pressing up or down, and nothing happened because there is no liquid there. It's all gone through this piston. So we have this one ready to install back on the boat. That's the first one, with the right side. Engine. It's tricky, but we know how to work on the other one right now, so the other one will be faster. Actually, I will do the, the whole video about how we put it in a, a parts. You can see here is the old one. Can nicely you can see like the propeller spin around it's not good this propeller it's like a little bit bended you can see yeah, yeah. so now i'm going to change the seals in this piston center one as you can see i just took this big pin out from here there is a special washer like this one is we call it Segerovka from this side so I took it out and I kicked the piston out oh sorry the, the pin out so now I have a piston off so I will try to make special tool because I don't have the wrench with the holes for this one so I will try to find the one for what I have for a grinder to release this thing get it out change the seals there and that's it as you can see it's still leaking I will use this screw from the side to release the air uh, the oil and air from there and that's it so now we have a six screws, three here, three from the other side, and we can get whole lower unit 
out from a boat. What is the size? We're doing this. So this is the lower unit. It's getting out the screws where the impeller is. The new set is over there and it comes with the new screws. So you don't have to keep these ones. This one, see how it looks around. This is a housing for an impeller. Yeah. Can take this one out. This one is not in a new set, so you have to keep this one and clean it. Same with this small plastic one. This one. And no, this is the one washer, but you have to do this one. Uh, but do it through. No, 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 you put something on the bottom. Yep, my side. Yes. Okay. It comes with a whole propeller thing. There are three washers, two are flat and one is like wavy, so we have to keep them. Now you can do the whole propeller thing, it's here, you can see how it looks in a housing, it's insane. can see this one here you have to take it out so we finally get the pin out from here so now we will clean all these things out and can get this thing see salt everywhere actually those two are two parts sticky now I have two parts here you see how it looks and the rubber is not like it's like super firm so we will make it soft again clean it out clean this clean that and that's it so this is a housing for the impeller this is what we have to keep so now I will put it in the parts and clean everything. We will clean this area too and we will do the new parts.